DeepSeek launched a new model with OCR. Now, what's OCR? Optical character recognition. And basically the thesis behind it is, it is a, a picture is worth a thousand words. But what they've worked out at DeepSeek is that if you take a picture of something, it's so much smaller and so much more efficient. And they have launched a paper and they've launched it on the internet and made uh, everyone's heads fall off once again in this world. What do you make of this, Yuli? I I almost don't believe it. Like ASCII is pretty pretty compressed, right? Um, like we're talking about taking the letters, the characters, and compressing them down further than the 16 bits or whatever it is that we've got currently for ASCII. So, uh, I mean, I do believe it. Obviously, they've come out with it, but it's incredible what they do. This is the second DeepSeek moment, right? The first one was when they came out with DeepSeek R1 or V1, which was the first one which uh, distilled from an open AI model um, to basically have only, I think it was a $5 million training one for an almost frontier level large language model. And now they've done it again. This time now you can, I think, have 10 times compression. So let's imagine you've got a million token context window. You can now have 10 million tokens compressed down to a million tokens so it can still use it um, with 97% recall or 97% uh, correct validated, you know, looking at the characters and realizing, yeah, that's the right one. So this is potentially a big deal for code generation or anything that requires a really large context window. Um, mm. And in a world where at the moment, memory is the current frontier that everyone's pushing up against, uh, it's really interesting yeah. to see the Chinese again come in with a really creative take that's not just an iterative like push of what everyone else is doing, but bigger. They're coming at it from another angle again. It's cool to see. This is a geopolitical move in my view, is this is China has consistently, not just in AI, but in all products, electric cars, you name it, BYD is one of the fastest growing models on the planet. It's a product that is 90 to 95% as good, but half to 40% of the cost. This is exactly the play. And these guys in China are very innovative and they've been constrained by the chips. They came and been able to get the best chips, but they have again innovated again and they're doing more with less. Really exciting. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.